Hi, Dawn Levine here, and today we're going to talk about ATMs and cash conversion in Italy. So we um, we just recently went to Italy and Greece for about three weeks. Actually, it was just a little over three weeks, and um, we had some experiences with ATM and cash conversion that I think will probably help you to avoid some pitfalls. So I knew that um, we would get the best deal on cash conversion at the airport, not doing it in advance before we left the States, but doing it in the airport once we got to Europe. So that was my plan. And I, I don't normally use an ATM. I went and got an ATM from my bank specifically for this purpose. And I told them, when I ordered the ATM, I'm getting this so I can use it in Italy. Do I need to do anything special? Oh no, you don't need to do anything special. So then the ATM card came and it was time to activate it. So I called and I was talking to the person and I said, oh, I'm, I got this specifically to use in Italy. Do I need to do anything special? Oh no, you're fine. It'll, you won't have any trouble. Well, lo and behold, I went to we went, we got to Rome and we looked for the ATM so we could get euros there in the airport before we left. And my ATM card did not work. It was immediately flagged as being stolen because they didn't know I was in Italy, even though I told them every step along the way. So luckily I had, um, credit cards and those were, I could do um, cash withdrawal on those, but I could not get anything to work at the ATM machine. So I did not get any cash from the ATM, although um, one of the other members of our party had no trouble. But if you're going to be using an ATM and you've got an ATM card with a Visa or MasterCard logo on it, um, Call your bank and don't don't trust the person in the branch. Call the you know your one eight hundred number and and say hey I need to put a travel alert on this. Um, part of my issue is I bank with a credit union. This is a small local credit union, and they were not sophisticated enough to do what I needed them to do. So next time I'm going to have an ATM from one of the big banks. I'm not a big fan of big banks, but there are times and places where that makes sense. So when I go back in 45 days, we're going to Venice for a week. I am going to have a big bank ATM so that I can um, get my cash in the airport before I leave. So, so what did I do? Since so the ATM didn't work. Um, and by the way, I called the bank about the reported lost or stolen and they turned it back on and it still didn't work the next time. Same thing, tried it in an ATM. Oh, this is reported lost or stolen. So it was a pain in the neck. But um, if you have any qualms about the ATM, there are also little cash conversion booths there in the airport. It's very handy, very easy to use. So there are companies that do this and um, the one in particular, we flew into Rome and flew out of Milan. The one that I went to said, hey, if you don't use all of this cash, since you're going to be at an airport that we serve before you go back to the States, if you want to sell our euros, your euros back to us, we will give you the same rate that you got on the, this transfer. So that can be a good deal. If you're flying in and out of the same airport, clearly they'll still be there. Um, I don't know if all the companies offer that, but this particular company gave us that and there was paperwork and that we needed to have with us and that sort of thing. So because they served the Milan airport and the Rome airport, we could have sold euros back. For us, it didn't make sense because we knew we would be coming back relatively quickly. And so we, we just held on to our euros, but um, you can get a, a better rate at one of these booths or the ATM than you can get stateside for sure. 
because they're going to put a fee on top of everything and better also than some of the places out and about around Italy that supposedly specialize in cash conversion. So I've heard that they, um, they don't give you a good rate and they charge really high fees. So that's something to be aware of. Um, so you, you will need some cash. So it's important to get some euros. There's plenty of places where you just have to have some cash. And I'll tell you one of them that might surprise you. Um, there are sometimes there are public bathrooms around Europe that you can use, but there are often you have to pay. So it is going to be important to have some one euros. It's almost always a euro to use the restroom. It's going to be important to have some euro coins so you can go to the bathroom if you need to. Um, a workaround is to go to a bar or a restaurant and you know buy something to drink and use theirs. Um, but definitely you're going to need some cash for things, little things like that that come up. So don't think that you're going to be able to get by completely with just your credit card. I did use my credit card most places. It was just much more convenient, but there are going to be some places where you just need to have some cash. So um, be aware of that. <clears throat> and I will tell you also that it may be um, foreign thinking, no pun intended. I've got to pay to go to the bathroom you end up with a much cleaner bathroom when you're paying to use the bathroom. So that is a good thing. You will appreciate it once you go there, you pay to use the bathroom and you'll see how much cleaner it is than maybe a public bathroom in a park somewhere here in the States. So don't forget to get some cash. You don't have to get a ton, but you need some, you need some cash. So now, now I'm really done. So I hope you found this useful and helpful. And I hope you will like and subscribe so that you see our future episodes. Ciao.